There is a tweet that um, trended, I can say that, and it generated a lot of conversation, which is from Reverend Lori Idahusa. She said, a marriage proposal is an intimate private matter, not a video production made to post on social media handles. Guys, watch out for the lady who tells you how to propose. She won't let you rest for your entire marriage. Public proposals oftentimes end in private disaster. That's how she put it. So, um, joining us live to explain this tweet, because I know 240 characters is never enough to really say things the way you want to, and it can be misconstrued. So, the Reverend herself will be joining us live from Benin City. Hello, Reverend. Hi, good morning. Good to see everyone. Good, good morning. morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. You guys look lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay, so your your tweet generated a lot of conversation. People twisted it, misconstrued it, said different things. And even my co-anchors have got their opinions, which they will share soon. But what did you intend? What would you want to expatiate on that tweet? Okay, so there is a little story behind it. Um, and I don't know if I can actually share, but I'll share just bits and pieces. Um, there's a, a young man that I'm very close to that's been in a relationship for the last seven years with this lady. And uh, he's, in, he's been wanting to marry her. He's, uh, he's had the resources to buy the ring and the whole bit. But for seven years, well, I'd say for the last probably four or five years, um, he hasn't asked her to marry him because she has this thing in her mind about this fantastic proposal that's going to blow the world's mind and all of this. And so... Now they're getting into their 30s and they're still not engaged. Um, they're very serious, actually, they're over 30, uh, very serious with each other. But because of this idea of this perfect proposal, um, till now he, he hasn't married her. So uh, that was really, it was a conversation from him that prompted uh, me to make tweets. Uh, and, it, and I believe that the desire for a, uh, a really huge, uh, massive proposal um, you know, I, I think a proposal should be left for the man. I think that the man, it's the man that's asking the woman. And so I don't believe that the woman should be involved in her proposal process. I don't think that uh, she needs to be dictating the, the rules. She's going to plan her engagement. She's going to plan her wedding. She's going to plan her house. She's going to plan her, she's got everything to plan. But the proposal is something that I believe belongs to the man. That's his opportunity to humbly come and say, I love you and I want to marry you. And I think it's a very intimate thing that should be between uh, just a man and a woman. Um, now, if they want to have pictures for memories or video for memory, I don't have a problem with that. But making it uh, a, a grandiose affair, uh, I've seen it go bad just one too many times. And so it was all of that combined that informed me to make that tweet at the time. Yeah. Um, so I like the way you've explained your tweets because I think you put it into proper context because people cannot understand that there was a situation that led to that tweet. But one of the things I don't really agree with is when you said that public proposals of oftentimes lead to a disaster. Private disaster. A private disaster. I don't really agree with that because I think if any relationship is not going to work, it's not because you guys had a public proposal or a private proposal. I think it still boils down to the two individuals involved in the relationship. So I didn't really agree with that part of the tweet. So I don't know if you want to explain further. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It boils down to two people making the relationship work. But there's little red flags uh, that come up along the way. And if if a couple is so interested in um, a show, per, per se, and they're so interested in making um, a big, grandiose uh, uh, thing out of their proposal, it kind of makes you wonder, is there a relationship between them or is there a relationship between them and the rest of the world? Mm. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of couples. I've, I've been pastoring now for, I don't even want to say how many years, uh, but more than a decade, more than two decades, uh, just about two decades. And... Yes, more than two decades. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen a lot of people uh, do these big public proposals and then they get in, they get, uh, they break their engagements. And then the lady stuck with everybody remembering that she was the one that, you know, they, they announced in the stadium or whatever the case may be. And then she suffers from it. 
uh, because the guy moves on, the guy finds somebody else and, and lives happily ever after. But the lady has always had, always had that stigma on her of she was the one that everybody remembers her big proposal to somebody else. Yeah. Um, uh, so I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of it either. I think you and I are very much on the same table with the trail of thoughts. I really admire and respect intimacy and I, I don't know, I don't see how you can value both. I don't know if you're still with us. Um, I don't know if you can value both things. And so I agree with everything that you're saying. But there's a lot of people who think like, for example, like my co my co and co, but I wanted to even go deeper with some of the responses I saw when I personally, for example, just don't really care what other people think. So I don't need to pull up a show for anybody else. But let's say I am one of those ladies who like that. And I'm with a partner that's just like that. So you both like showbiz and whatnot. I, I can... I agree with you, and I probably would say that both of them still have underlying issues, but maybe that works for both of them. My question really is now that do you think that you could have relationships where even though, yes, the ideology behind it may be a bit worrying and doesn't really stem in things that are rooted deeply, but it could still work because they are both in the same situation? I mean, there's a lot of showbiz couples and there's been a lot of public proposals that have worked. And I think that's why I use the word oftentimes so that it doesn't uh, rule out those people that um, have that type of personality profile where they're both, uh, you know, entertainers and they want to turn their private uh, engagement into an entertainment matter. That's their choice. Everybody has their choice to make their decisions the way they want. Um, but just unfortunately, we've seen too much um, too many, too many things have broken down over time. So it was more of a, of a help and a warning and to kind of help couples to help, to help take the pressure off. You know, there's so much pressure involved. I, I, I don't think we had that kind of pressure, you know, 19 when my husband asked me to marry him. Um, the pressure wasn't as big because it was before social media. Mm. Uh, but now, um, a lot of guys are holding on to the rings for way too long. Um, just because they're trying to plan the perfect proposal. Thank you for your time, um, Reverend Idahosa.